Hello and welcome back to the channel, How We Move the Decimal. In today's video, I'm continuing to sort through this, the thread, like, value bag, mystery bag, I don't know what you call it, from Goodwill. We went to the Indiana, Indiana to go to the Goodwill outlet, and unfortunately the Goodwill outlet doesn't open till noon, but the plain Goodwill store opened an hour earlier. So we went into the Goodwill store and shopped around there while waiting for the bins to open and I ended up buying three grab bags and two other items. The three grab bags were two of thread and one of yarn. This is me. <laughs> I am Google lensing what this item is. I am using the image search on eBay. It's a very odd plastic item. I thought I was missing a piece, but apparently I wasn't. It has to do with bobbing, putting thread on a bobbin. Again, I was very perplexed. So I'd use both of those tools to find it. I'm sure if I was really into sewing, I would know right away what it was, but I'm not. I can like sew pillowcases. This is me looking at pictures of items that's like it making sure everything fits taking a picture of it like the other items were taking a picture of so it always pays off but this is what i was talking about earlier in my previous videos where if you don't know an item it takes longer to list it so i'm having to go and look this up i'm having to look up i mean you not just what it is listed for not just what it's selling for but i'm having to look up and see what the actual item is so that is taking me longer compared to something where I already know what the item is, the basic price range and stuff, so I don't have to look up as much. Now, if I find this again, I will know, but that's the problem when you sell everything that sells. Uh, we don't have a niche. We don't sell only clothes or only shoes or only antiques or cast iron banks or because we are a jack of all trades. As the saying goes, you're a jack of all trades and a master of none. I'm not an expert in anything. I know a little bit about everything. So it does take me longer to find things. If I'm not aware of them, if I haven't had personal experience with them. I love watching videos of like bolos and stuff. And especially the ones that show like the tags on them. So you kind of get a sense of what you're looking for. But all of this does take time. I'm having to look stuff up. I'm having to list things that I'm not aware of. And you also run the risk of selling things way too low or listing things way too high and having them not sell for gears because you're unaware of what you really have. There are um, groups on Facebook, groups on other marketplaces that you can look up and figure out, you know, that you can post an item, say, what is this item? I'm a member of a Facebook group where people often post items and say, oh, you know, what is this? Does anybody have any experience with this? You know, they're not just going to give you the answers. They want you to work for it, but they are very helpful in the group when you haven't identified something. So if you're like, I've looked everywhere. I don't, I can't figure this out. Or I have a base. Oh, this is the other bag. So this is the second bag of stuff. The... So there are $4.99 each bag. This is, again, way more threads. I end up just slotting all the threads in one big lot together to sell. There is um, more tools in here, too. Some cutters, a metal ruler. Um, you know the cookie tins and stuff that you have at your grandma's house and you're like, it's cookies and it's not cookies. It's like got thread and stuff in it. That's what I think was just dumped in to these bags. This has elastic in it. It has more pins. It actually has pins that go to the first bag. So I feel like they just dumped whatever into these bags. So I do, that's the dental floss I also list. It is vintage. But again, I just dump all the thread in one lot to sell, uh, except for the specialty threads. And there were only two of those. And the reason I don't sell those is they weren't selling by themselves anyway. So it wasn't worth me worth it for me to list them by themselves. 
um, little thread boxes, first aid kit boxes. Uh, that one was a Tylenol. A lot of the stuff was from like the 70s, I would think. Some early 90s for the threads. Um, again, more papers of needles. So much like the first bag, when I dumped this bag out, I had loose needles everywhere. So that was hard to deal with. Uh, I think I poked myself multiple times with this, which is great because it came from a Goodwill. I'm sure it was all, you know, sterilized and super clean and awesome. And I probably should have been wearing gloves knowing I'm working with needles, but I was not. And I just kept going, ow, damn it, ow, damn it, every time I poked myself with a needle. But I paid $4.99 for each bag, and I've sold all the thread for $30. So I've made my money back. Anything I'm selling now off of it is a bonus. I think there was 60 thread altogether that I sold in the lot. So whoever got it was a great, it was a great deal for them also. Thread really spiked up during the first part of the crisis that we've had, but now the thread prices are going down since people aren't like freaking out and sewing masks, masks and stuff. So, but like I said, if I would not have sold it, I would have kept it for myself. And used it eventually. However, since this lot of used thread sold so well for me, I now know in the future if I can get large lots of thread, at least 60, or sell them for 50 cents a piece. So if I had a lot of 20, you know, I'd sell it for $10, $40, $20, so on. I know if I come across another large lot of thread, I can sell that, which is great. So that is one thing you learn from listing new things you're not used to listing, new experiences. I, I know now that used thread does sell. Now, almost all of these bobbins were almost full. I'm not going to sell anything that's almost empty. These looked like they were used a couple times. You know how it is when you need to sew something, you just buy the thread that matches it, and then you never use that thread again. That's what I think was happening here. So they did great. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.